Well, I'm out here in the shop. My pan's got a little water in it. I'm trying to get all this water out. I'm gonna make some uh, wax dirt. Been to the Hobby Lobby. I got a little bit of wax here, soy wax. 100% natural. Uh, this is left over from some candle making. And we're gonna use it to see if we can get some wax dirt. This is Oklahoma, so as you know, you never know. Make sense? <laughs> uh, it could be 60 degrees one day and 20 the next. So dirt gets a little crappy around here. It, it freezes all night, muddy during the day, freeze mud, freeze mud. It's it's terrible. So I'm gonna try and fight it with some wax dirt this year. And I've always wanted to make it. Never made it before. Always wanted to. Got some wax. Got some dirt. Why not? All right. So we got some plastic for the table. And I got a little bit of dirt in there. As you can see. Not a whole lot. Let's do it a little bit at a time. Just going to heat it up. You know, get some more moisture out of that dirt. Uh. This year wasn't bad. Last year it was so wet that I couldn't even get dry dirt out of that barn. This year I did find a couple spots. I'm gonna have to find me a new place to find some dry dirt. But old barns are a good spot, guys. So I had to switch gears a little bit. That uh, little electric burner I was using right back here, I just don't think it was getting hot enough. Broke out some propane now. See if we can't get it done. Woo! The witch's brew. But, uh, the fire heat, propane heat seems to be doing a lot better. Speeding things up. I am smelling a little bit of smell. I think there's some debris in here that causing that. I hope that doesn't. I mean, we'll see. This is all a new experiment to me. Uh, hopefully, laying this out on that plastic just to let it cool down and maybe get rid of that smell maybe that's just what hot burn barn dirt smells like I don't know in this particular mixture with the wax I was using which was soy flake wax it came up to about a coffee cup full of wax per gallon of dirt that I had so Putting it on the propane heat really helped, and I just kept it moving, stirring it, shaking it, and so that it wouldn't burn. And then I would just put it on the plastic and let it cool. All right, so I got it done here. It's been cooling all day. Back to cold again this evening. I'm going to put some on top of the lid of my pot here, and we're gonna see if water sheds off of it. Hopefully it does. Get some of this dirt. Uh, use this. Not too much, don't wanna waste it. if I got it hot enough for a piece of wax right there. Should roll off of it. Hey! There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Alright. There we go. Puddled up right on top of it. Well, there you got it. We got some uh, whole bunch of wax dirt, and uh, all it took was a little bit of time and using some leftover stuff from uh, Jen's candle making. Uh, now that wax, you can probably get that somewhere else a little cheaper than where I got it. Uh, I know Southern Snares usually carry some wax, but uh, anyway, it was just sitting there. Thought I'd try it out. I'll jump in here real quick. Check out the new shirt. 
Uh, we are making shirts now. Trapper for life. That's me. Stay tuned. Check it out if you're interested. Just drop a comment in this video. And let me know if you're interested. We got some other designs coming up. And this ain't no Google image. This is me putting pen to paper. I think y'all gonna love it. Let me know. Drop a comment. I'll see you on the next trapping video.